Another one for a quick uh, day one and two recap. Um, I combined both days because of the whole mess that went on day one for like the first two hours of the league start with all the crashes going to act one. So I ended up not really playing the first two hours, I think, until they fixed it. Hour two, I think it was like two hours, I don't remember. But once they made the patch, I came back on and that's when it felt better. No more crashes. Uh, day one... I got to Act 9, I believe it was, before I started to fall asleep while playing. And then on Day 2, pushed all the way to do um, T8 maps, I believe it is. Yeah, all the way to T8s. I'm just going through, do like how we do every league. All the 1s, the 2s, I have, keep going through. Luckily, because I was so far behind, because I also took a 3-hour break on yes, Friday to do Lost Ark stuff. And then another two hour break on Saturday to do more, like I'm doing every day. Um, people, most of my guild was already pushing way ahead of me. So once I got the maps, they just gave me all the crappy um, maps they didn't want to run, while well, one person did. And it pretty much helped push the um, the white and yellow, the white maps pretty easily, and a lot of the uh, good, a good batch of yellows going by doing Kirek, buying his maps whenever available. And it made it a little bit easier. Um, and then pretty much we're just doing what we always do every time with the guild is just if anyone gets a unique map We just give it to each other and help each other out um, So I'm still playing Zoomancer. I'll probably play in this build for the whole week I don't see myself re-rolling on Sunday like I always do especially because I'm already um, half a day behind but uh, pretty much the build I Barely upgrade the build. I was using almost the same items from act like five all the way to maps uh, pretty much absolution is what I use to level uh, it worked very well very smooth um, once I got the hang of it because I haven't really done it in a long time and then once I got to maps I dropped the divine orb on my fifth map sold it and pretty much revamped the build right away uh, got real lucky on the triangle grips I bought this for like uh, 5 chaos for one all perfect and pretty much I got the greens really fast. I did not expect to get greens really fast on this, but the greens came really quick. And then I bought the, um, I bought a six link, um, energy, sh uh, okay. Armor E, um, armor ES base and get a three, three on it. It's super easy. Bought it for 20 C. Uh, Jinx Juju is like 15. So don't have an ointment cause I just can't find any black or, uh, black oils yet. Even I've done a bunch of maps. And then the rest of the gear is pretty much my normal 10 chaos buyout, buy what you can. Like weapon, this was pretty much, um, there was really no weapons in the market I wanted. Like I want to get a plus one with uh, minion damage, but I'm not going to drop 50, 60, uh, 80 chaos on it for at least a 50 plus roll or 100, whatever it was. So I pretty much just threw an essence on this got an open prefix and then put the trigger on this very simple to make uh both rings are pretty much uh, your stat your stats and resistant fixer okay kitty come on okay i want attention um pretty much you know dex uh resistance life strength get what you need open one socket one to plus two for the animated guardian because animated guardian don't use until level nine i use didn't start using this until level 19 at level 84. Once I got the last skill point I was waiting for, for more defense. And then Frostbite's the other one for the curse. Weapon, it's pretty much, this is all Ghastly's build. He's the one who made the Zoomancer. And I'll put his um, POE Vault um, description in the below. Just go through it, all how to play it. It works pretty well. I've been following it. Um, it's pretty much um, trigger skill. It's pretty much to trigger your bone offering. And I'm lazy and I don't feel like casting steel skin. So I put steel skin in here. If you want to self cast it, just put determination in here instead and put steel skin in here. I'm just lazy and I don't feel like casting um, uh, steel skin. So I'm going to let trigger do itself for eight seconds. I don't care. And then bone offering, just give you more block. Helmet, it's really just a plus one with life. And then with the uh, crafted ray zombies for one more. Uh, Juju, it's like every build plays more curse, 
more chaos res, strength, um, damage taking go to your specters, so a little defense. Uh, shield sucks. It's really just minions deal more damage, resistance. I've been lazy. I didn't put, I didn't craft life on this yet. In here is pretty much just the um, the, the golems, carry on, frenzy, stone, boots, movement speed, life, resistance. For your uh, specters, calling strike, summon phantasmals, bone chill, and ray specter. Uh, specters, um, I'm using the original ones that you can self um, desecrate, not the new ones yet. I'm doing two um, thresh call. I think they're called like um, thresh calls, I believe. The big turtles, and one um, chieftain, I believe. I think it's a chieftain. Let me check. E or A. Uh, hell. Oh yeah, I forgot that's gonna do something. Hold on. Why is the A button not working? Okay, it's weird. Okay, apparently the lock button's not working right now, but what if so um crash calls I think they're called and the um host chief and I don't know why it's not the lock's not working. Oh, uh, Pikes and didn't put the um, race specter on here. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's why. Uh, what are these called? Let's make sure I don't screw something up here. So I'm going slow on this. There you go. Uh, oh yeah. So chieftain, that's what's called. Chieftain and crush call. You want two crush calls, one chieftain. I always forget their names. Put those away. Um, belt, technically Darkness and Throne will be my next upgrade. Hell of expensive right now, so I'm not going to buy them. So I just put, you know, Strength, because your Strength starved. Life, Resistance. I got lazy. Triumph Grip is pretty much your Desecrate, just for your, um, you rarely use this. This is more just the, um, if your Spectres die on a boss, something like that. Phase Run, because Phasing's nice. And then dash with second win, just because you have the greens, you're stuck with this. Um, my flasks are garbage. I have not done my flasks yet. These were literally just taken out of my inventory, threw a transmute on them, and called it a day. That's really what it is. I got lucky and got this one got cut of blood. But my flasks are need to be fixed. That probably like another day before I do that one. Uh, chest piece. It's pretty much um, Ray Zombies, Minion Damage, Elemental Damage, Multi, Elemental Army, and Minion um, Melee Fizz. More damage. I want to take. I'm gonna once I find a Vile Skeleton, which I still not seen yet for some reason. I'm gonna drop the Minion Damage and put that in here for more damage because um, Skeletons will give you more damage than just this. Um, also. In this league, because you have access to the new um, ascendancies, get the one that uh, it's not purple. I think it's yellow, if I'm correct. It's the one that if you have no um, what you call it? if you have no gems in your helmet, you get 50 all res. If you have no gems in your boots, you get 30% movement speed. It makes leveling so much nicer, and I highly recommend it. If your build doesn't need gems in these slots, you know, it makes it'll make your um, campaign really fast. And then once you get to the point where you start adding your sockets back, just uh, change the sentences back to the one everyone's pretty much using. The one that has the, um, I think it's blue. The one that gives you the backpack with the open charm slots. It's probably the strongest one in this league. But once you get that, the backpack's actually pretty nice. Because what I did is I put uh, my scrolls in here, any um, stuff that I'm too lazy to drop, and then all my maps I need to run. So that this way, this is, because anything you pick up will start here. It won't start in here. So it makes it pretty, that's what it fills up. But it makes it real easy to unload your inventory at the end. It makes a cleaner inventory overall. So I think this is really nice to have. Um, trying to think anything else. Oh yeah, tree. So, I have not done even the Uber Lab yet. I've been lazy. I have the, the stone to do it. Just think I've been too lazy. Um, this was the last upgrade, like level 85, was just a taunt and blind jewel. Mookity. 
but it's pretty straightforward tree. Um, Gasly's, just look at Gasly's POB. It's pretty much his. I'm at the point now, I don't know what I'm doing with the tree because this is where the tree starts jumping a lot. If I want to keep with the low budget one that I'm playing now, or start transitioning into the medium budget version. The problem is the trees change between each one. So that's why I don't know which way I want to go yet. Cause like the trees cut off the bottom half here. They take away a lot of the masteries. Um, I think it changes, it goes more down grabs like more life regen, mini jewels, life. Like it changes the tree around. So that's why I gotta figure out what I want to do at this point, because I'm not 100% sure yet which route I'm going. Um, but eventually I know I know the jewel slots we needed and all that. I just don't have the jewels either. But I'll figure that out later. Um, pretty much Necromancer is probably the best for this build, just because, you know, 30% all res, more damage, more everything. Offerings affect you, gives you block. So the build does get pretty tanky. Uh, we'll just throw a random T8 map in here real fast. Not, Harbinger takes too long. This will be faster, I think, is regular map. Uh, normally I would do this, but to save time, it's not. So the build's pretty straightforward. It's pretty much a, a, a minions all out. You know, your two golems. Oh, um, animated guardian. I'm using the very, very budget version. Uh, elemental weakness, cur um... Elemental Weakness, Corrupted Gloves with um, Chaos Res. Um, Dying Breath, I think, is the weapon. The Leer Helmet. Um, wait, oh shoot, I have the thing here, hold on. I don't remember, I don't know exactly how to call these items. So yeah, Dying Breath, Leer Chaos, Windscreen for additional curse. The Elemental Weakness Gloves, and then Gar Garathos Pelt, I think it's called. The one that gives you um, life regen. It's like 30 chaos. So it's pretty much the budget budget version because I don't want to go high end until I actually switch to build with the cluster jewels and all that because that's another upgrade too. A lot of upgrades needed if still. But overall, the lean mechanic, I will say is... It's very rippy. If you're doing this lead mechanic, I'm gonna um, also been a lot of lag today too. Disconnects, but uh, the build's extremely lazy. It's pretty much a two bind build. Um, the lead mechanic, as of the current state I'm at right now, is extremely rippy. Once I get to t uh, red tier maps when I'm doing corrupted, I'm not gonna touch the lead mechanic. I'm gonna not do my corrupted because this lead mechanic, if you get this, will hurt you really bad. I'll do it now, but. Uh, lead mechanic, what I look for, um, the new specters are extremely strong. Gassy has a whole video out on them, um, about like which one, you only want to go for perfect. Let's just go over it and see what happens. Um, perfect specters have auras attached to them, so they can definitely change the way you play your builds around. Like if you're going, um, what you want to call it? Um... Like there's haste, determination, the new hydra. There's a lot of different um, combinations that you can go with. Like getting determination on the. Okay, maybe we got something. Sure. Um, pretty much, like overall, I think they're gonna be stronger than the what I'm using now. It's just this is the more better version until it's more figured out what you're about to take with them. So it just saves time. It was easy to get. I just asked in global chat, got them right away, and it works for now because this is budget version. Until I go more high end, which I don't know when I'm gonna do that. Probably in a couple days. And then right now for mapping, I'm just farming uh, another virtual vessel. Uh, which one call? It? I'm farming uh, expedition. I like expedition on League Star. I've done it every league. I think besides one. And it just helps get bubblegum currency. Um, law books are extremely expensive at T16s. I like Tujin gambling and Danny gambling a lot. Um, so that's pretty much a map so far. It's pretty much, if I can find the exit or no. I had no strategy with this. I just run around looking for the people. Nope, we didn't find it. I take blue if I can. If not, I take whatever. 
But yeah, damage is really low. Um, I still don't have 20 gems yet, or 20 zero now, since we can't make 20 20 gems anymore easily. Uh, gems are like around like level between 17 to, um, to 19. Should be 20 by tomorrow, if I have time. Because I know Sunday's going to be a very busy day for me. But yeah, uh, the build's fun. It feels more like the old school Diablo 2 build, I would say. Because we, we had like the old, um, back then we had like shitty computers lagging them out real bad. Because you have so many minions. That's sort of what this is, pretty much. Once you get the um, bow skeletons, you're gonna have more minions attached to this. But build's pretty real easy to play. I'm playing just walking around in circles. Cast my curse, cast my um, conviction. Pretty much just conviction everything on top of me, let him kill everything. And then curse when I need to. But yeah, um, if you if you don't do lean mechanic, damage is really high. With lean mechanic, your damage is very questionable because you don't have the best damage right now. Um, I don't have all my aura even on either. I'm still missing scatter bots. I need the uh, mana reservation in the helmet. That's I don't have the um, the blue lesser whatever they're called yet. I still need to get more of those. I haven't even got to the point where you start dropping them yet. Actually, I guess okay, now I just got the point we start dropping them. But it's going to take time to get those. I'm in no rush on them. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm taking this league also very slow. I'm not rushing it. Like, Because normally I would say by this video I'm, I'm about done with the Atlas. Or I'm actually just finished the Atlas. But I'm just probably like a day behind or so. I'm okay with it. I'm not farming my headhunter this league because I did it last league in the Mage Blood. So I'm going to skip those this league. And probably just might play this build for a while. I want to mid-max it. Try out the new Spectres. Like, I think this build will be good. Which I actually picked a good build for once on League Star, which never happens with me, if anyone knows. Yeah, level it's like 19, it looks like. And you can't, you are pretty tanky with this build, but you will get one shot. I've been one shot a lot. I definitely need to fix the flask. That would probably help out the most. Oh, we have a maven. That's why there's so much shit on there. And the drops were trash. Of course. Okay. I don't want to run this video for too much longer. Um... Oh yeah, if you're looking for the specters, um, with them, all you're looking for is the first word. This is the word perfect. Like you see on here, it says cast purity of fire. That's what the perfect does. You know, like this one, Zolotry, Impale, Owner gets flash charges, Owners have, our minions have met more life, purity of ice, like this is what the uh, perfects do, is they give you the auras. That's why those are really nice to have. Um, the tree, it's pretty much the tree I do every league. Expedition, um, skip all the qualities until the very, very end. Going up this way, uh, up here I'm rushing for stream of conscious for 50% more um, um, extra content. You know, then get higher tier maps, expedition wheel, so I wanted to go expedition early on. Went this way to get the um, Kirik, uh chances because these do help get your um, last year maps when you get stuck. Uh, it's more scouting reports just to go along with this. Okay, they might uh, maybe screw it up again. Hopefully not. Uh, more map tiers I'm working on now. Expedition wheel. Uh, expedition wheel up here. Like very basic. Um, if I wasn't playing a minion build, I would have gone this way for the shrines. Shrines just don't work too well with minions. That's why I skipped the shrines this time. 
Uh, I'm trying to think what else. Like, I'm gonna finish up the, the point here. Probably skip the three on top. I might go up this one and pick up the um, the 20% uh, on top. Probably go next. I might jump over here, pick up the extra point here, just to push till T16s. And once I get there, I'll respect. You know, I'll go down here, block out what I don't want, plan here, block what I don't want. Maybe go for um, delirium a little bit. Like I'm not fully sure what I'm doing with this build. I want to do ultimatum. I just don't know when, because I believe ultimatum. Yeah, it's left side of tree. Hard left side of tree, which I don't know how I'm gonna do this. So that's why I gotta figure out. Cause expedition this side, ultimatum this side. But ultimatum I don't want to farm until the build is actually a lot better. At current state, ultimatum no no. All right, let's take the expedition. But quick video. Um, I don't know what the next video is gonna be about. Probably just be an update again when I go more into the medium budget and how that feels. But hope you liked the video. If I see you stream a little, come on Twitch. Um, I stream a little bit this league. I'm not gonna be streaming a whole lot. Maybe like an hour or two a day if I have time. It's just um, based on time and this build is extremely laggy when I stream because of all the minions. But I'm gonna try my best this league and hopefully be fun. And hopefully we'll see where it goes with uh, farming strategies. You know, I'm going a lot slower. Wednesday I'm losing also, but we'll get there eventually. But hope you liked the video. I'll see you on the next one. Bye, everyone.